Hi, my name is Lisa Fuller and I'm the librarian for the Family and Consumer Sciences Department. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you some of the tools that we have to help you with your career exploration project. To find these resources, we'll start at the library homepage, which is library.harding.edu. And when you get here, we'll go to research and then look at our research guides. These are divided up by subject. So if we come down and see family and consumer sciences, we'll open this. There's one here that helps with APA citations. There's one that talks about ethics and research. And this is the guide that you want to use for this project, family and consumer sciences. Come to the tab that says FCS 1000. And here's some of the information that will help. First of all, the criteria for this project is listed over on the left-hand side. So while you're doing research, you have any questions about what you need to look into, this is a good place to look. Specific library subscription databases are below the list of questions for your profile. Data USA is a great resource that helps us find information about jobs in this section. Windowsware is a resource we have that's specific for the fashion and apparel majors. Most of you will also need to look at Occupational Outlook Handbook. So we have another video that's going to look specifically at that resource to show you how to use that to find information about the jobs. The websites here can also be helpful. Uh, we have links out to the different associations that are involved with your profession. And these websites contain information needed about certification and whether or not you need to do an internship before you can work in the area. We also included a link to Purdue's online writing lab to help with all the questions you have about APA style. If you need help with this project or with any other project while you're here in school, my contact information is also listed here. You can call me, you can email me, or you can use this icon to schedule an appointment. This year, we will be meeting virtually to decrease the likelihood of transferring COVID-19 to each other. But you can select a time that works for you, fill out a brief form, and make an appointment if you have any questions.